Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Raycom TV. Today we're looking at these products that come from our uh, RF fanatical friends in the States, Electrosonics. Uh, this is the DSQD, a four channel half U rack receiver, digital receiver, of course, along with the DBU transmitter. Um, and this, incidentally, is the DPR. This is their plug on transmitter that we're not going to be running with today, but um, nice little product that's just come into the range. So, this is going to be another walk test day where we're trialing, you know, what kind of distance these products can, can really operate at. But we're also bringing into it the differences, hopefully, between digital and analog and, and seeing how they perform against each other. So, um, I'll, I'll explain, or I'll, sorry, I'll let Piers explain exactly how the test is going to run. It's Piers and Julie are going to be going out together. So, uh, over to those guys. Hi. So, yes, as Andy says, we're going to be doing a a walk test with a difference. There's actually three people involved in this walk test, which uh, gives you some idea of the complexity involved. We've got Jilly here. She's going to be walking the analog. Uh, I'm going to be walking the digital, and we've got the the, the Wizard of Doz here, who's uh, looking after the. Uh, he's monitoring it basically because he can hear which one is is going out, and when we start losing the signal, he's going to tell us so we can uh, uh, we can swap between analog and digital. But in fact, you're going to hear uh, the analog in your on your left channel, and you're going to hear uh, the digital. So she's going to be on your left, I'm going to be on your right. Um, and uh, so we'll, we'll see. When the analog goes, then we're going to just carry on with the digital and Jilly's going to stop and wait, possibly get an ice cream, depending if she stops near the ice cream van. Uh, but yes, we're, we're going to be walking this uh, uh, digital rec receiver, the DSQD, um, and the UCR411, which is a bit of a benchmark, really, in terms of uh, analog, uh, what's well, analog digital hybrid. It's the, the well known uh, electrosonic system that's been around for decades. Uh, so it's kind of the old benchmark versus the new. And what we're hoping to prove is that the digital. Is, is certainly no worse than the analog. And um, we've got a couple of antennas out the window here which are receiving the signal. They're the same antennas we, we use on all of these walk tests. Um, they are passive antennas, so there's nothing in the way. We've got about 2 dB of uh, feeder loss because we've got 5 meters of RG58 cable feeding straight into the DSQD, which is then looped through to the UCR411. Uh, but just to give you an idea what we're going to do, there are actually three diversity modes in the DSQD. There's antenna switched, which is basically switching between antennas. Uh, there's ratio, which is where you have a crossfade between two receivers. So that takes up two of the, the four receiver channels in the DSQD. And then we've got frequency diversity, which is why I've got two trans transmitters uh, on my person. I've got two uh, DBU transmitters, uh, which I'll tell you a bit mo more about in a minute when, once we start walking. But uh, the idea is that the switched, uh, uh, the switched uh, diversity is going to fail first, and then uh, the ratio diversity, and then hopefully the frequency, di frequency diversity will get us to go a little bit further. So anyway, let's, uh, without further ado, let's start, start walking. walking. Yeah, <laughs> trying to walk a metre apart, which uh, I think will please, uh, please the government. Although possibly by the time you see this, it may all have changed again. but. Uh, we are, of course, still uh, dealing with the coronavirus thing here. Um, so, right, we're going to go out the door of Raycom Towers. And, oh, the sun's come out. Yeah, one, one of the most uh, things you can, one of the things you can rely on most about the British weather is that uh, you can't rely on it. Um, there's supposed to be some rain coming, who knows. Uh, but at the moment we've got some sun, which is nice. Uh, so I'm sure you're hearing both of us. Uh, do you want to say something, oh, Yeah, Jenny? I was going to say, I'm not really doing much talking at the moment, but um, now we're out in the open and this is the, the test being put to the test. Yeah, we have to go through that rose bush there. Oh, OK, after you. No, thank you very much. <laughs> so, so Jilly, you're on the, uh, on the analog uh, transmitter there. Indeed. And um, Piers with the digital and obviously working in the various modes as we go through the test. And Doz, uh, Doz here has got a pair of headphones on with Jilly in his left ear and, and Piers in his right to differentiate between the uh, digital and... Yeah. Um, well, we're, we're thinking that the analog might might actually go first. That's what Electrosonics are telling us will happen. But uh, we've not done a full test of this before, so you'll discover at the same time as we do actually what happens. Um, but actually, while, while we're walking, I'll just tell you a bit about the DSQD. It's uh, as Andy said, it's a, a half rack. It's a one U rack, half uh, half rack size, four channels. Uh, it does 470.1 to 614.375, which is the majority of the remaining UHS spectrum that's available mostly in the world. In fact, it covers the whole of the US spectrum that's available and uh, most of the spectrum in other band in other countries. Um, it's, uh, as I said, it's got these three diversity modes that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, I'm walking with the DBU uh, belt pack transmitter. That's uh, 
It's an excellent uh, digital transmitter. It's got all kinds of nice features to it, including a, a user presetable uh, switch at the top, which you can use to do things like turn the transmitter on and off or mute the audio, uh, various things you can set up in the menu. But uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're very close to the, to the antennas now, so we should both be okay. So we'll give you a wave. Yeah, yeah we'll I can see you in sight, um, obviously only a few hundred yards away, but you're starting to go on the route now, which uh, is yeah. a direct, direct line to the antennas, but um, starts to drop away a little bit downhill uh, fairly soon. Um, what's important during the test, obviously we want to hear both of you talking as much as possible, so Absolutely. we get a, so get a good <laughs> idea about... Uh, T tell us some How facts about, about Evesham while we're walking there. Well, we're glorious walking past Evesham. The, uh, the Raycom Towers is a very safe place to be. We've got the fire station just across the road. We can look at our the lovely new fire station. Lovely new fire station. We can look after our health at the the gym when when eventually it may reopen. Uh, and we're walking down towards the river, which Piers told you all about last week. Mind you, you may not have watched it. Are you going to mention? Yes, we 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 are going to be doing quite a few of these uh, these walk tests. So uh, this is only the second we've done. So we are in Evesham, so you know, you may not have seen one of our other walk tests. We are in the in the town of Evesham, where Raycom's based in the heart of Worcestershire. It's very famous for a lot of things, of course. It, we're very near to Wood Norton, which is the BBC training centre, so there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, audio and uh, video related technology going on just about three miles away. Um, we're just coming to a slope now. This is where you might start to hear some dropouts from either of our systems. So perhaps if uh, do you want to have a I'm, quick I chat, Dilly, uh, for a second. Talk about uh, walking down the riverside in the ocean. Um, so how, we, how are we? Are we okay? Are we we're so okay. I mean, we're walking very fast, but that's because you're quite tall. So yeah. we're... <laughs> yeah, and poor, poor, poor George, up. the cameraman's going backwards. So uh, it's better thought for At him. At a massive rate, I have to say. I didn't realise that he sort of... Oh, I'm hearing yeah, some I'm dropouts. Getting, yeah, and we're getting some dropouts on Jilly there. Oh, so. oh Some dropouts on Jilly? Dropouts on me. What, oh. about, what about me? Am, no. I, am I not drop? I'll keep talking for a I second. Haven't, I haven't reached the ice cream van. Okay, well, actually, the ice cream van's not there today. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. What are we going to do? Call him up. <laughs> so, yeah, I think G Jilly's dropping quite badly. Am I, am I okay? So, uh, let me talk for a second. You're going a little bit as well. Am I? Yeah. Okay, well, at the moment, I'm on switch diversity. I, I think, uh, yeah, I'm not sure uh, whether we, we would call it at this point. So, G I mean, G can you hear me at all anymore? You're, yeah, you're there. You're there's, there? Uh, there's the odd, there's the odd drop, the odd, drop and flutter okay. coming in. And in. And well, we, we were I just, we were going down that slope, so there was a lot, yeah. there's a lot, and there still is quite a lot of earth between us. So it, it does sound like I'm, I'm kind of disappearing a bit now as well. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So is that the so I think, of us? So, j j how's Jilly? Do you want to oh, say a couple? Yeah, of? I'm, I mean, how are you hearing me? Is this okay? Is this usable audio, or are we starting to? Uh, Jilly's, Jilly's come, come back to, to, to strength thing. Okay, well, I think okay. That, all right then. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on for, we'll carry a, on uh, for, for a bit. Let, let uh, Daz, perhaps you could say when you think I've reached the end of my usable range. Uh, and the same for Jilly, and we'll, uh, we'll then swap over to another diversity system. I have to say, Walter and Ethan are being very considerate to George the cameraman going backwards and avoiding him at all costs. So, anyway, right, we're. Uh, one of the things I, w I would say um, about the DSQD, I did do yeah, some tests. Pierre, Pierre, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, but you are you are starting to be uh, to okay. be lost quite heavily there. Okay, so perhaps we we could switch to ratio. Yeah, now. I think now would be a good time to do it. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Doz now. He's going to change the diversity mode whilst we've stopped here for a second. Um, perhaps <laughs> he'll, he'll give the thumbs up to to you, Andy, when he's done that, and we can uh, resume. And then we'll know. So, uh, yeah, that's good to go. So we're on ratio, we're and how's Jilly? Is Jilly still still good? I'm still with you? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, let's carry on walking. Yeah, I was about to say I've done some tests on the DSQD, and the uh, receiver performance is better than uh, pretty much any uh, digital system I've tried. In fact, it was the best of, of any that I, I tried in terms of the carrier to noise performance, which is basically the amount of signal you need above the noise floor in order to have a usable a usable signal. So um, anyway, we're we're. Uh, uh, how's how's Jilly now? going now? I don't know. I, he's talking. Can you yeah, hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. We're all good. We're walking across the river. Yeah. And I don't know whether I heard something in my ear then. Yes, I, I heard something then. I'm not sure well, which, who was, it was that was dropping out. Is that me or have I gone? Am I, am I still with you people? No, well, you're, you're, st you're still here. You're still pretty oh, yeah. strong, but good, good, good. I think you did have a little flutter there. Oh, okay. dear, oh dear. <laughs> and and how, how am I? Yeah. Sounds to be sounds to be good at the moment. Certainly, okay, uh, no, when right you're to uh, 
so we're, just, uh, we're just going to cross the road here. Uh, well, there's something going on there. Okay. Well, it's quite hard. We've hit our traffic and eating. I feel I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking going. at Dawson, yeah, it's Jilly that's going, yeah. Okay, so Jilly, I think you're going to stay on this side of the road, which uh, is where you, you get to avoid being run over by a car. Uh, which, of course, like, we could get a lot of hits on YouTube if, if somebody actually got run over sort of live on camera, but the wrong, the wrong sort of hits. I'm going to avoid it. Okay, so yeah, you, you've kind of gone. So I think what we'll do um, is we'll, we'll just turn your transmitter off, uh, just so we can say this is as far as you got. Just hold it for three seconds, and it's off. So now you've just got me, uh, and I'm, I'm uh, just to remind you, I'm in ratio mode uh, whilst we wait to cross the road. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, it's not, not time yet. So uh, yes, as I was saying, the, the, you know, I did, did quite a few measurements on various digital systems, which traditionally have, have a reputation of having much poorer uh, performance in terms of range than analog systems, and uh, I was very, very impressed with Electronic, so uh, I, you know, I'm not surprised that we're getting quite as far as, as, as we are. I think we're probably at about 350 metres here. What we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll put some uh, markers down as, uh, you know, in post when we, uh, when we, when we see, see back to see how far we got. But I think we're probably about 350, 400 metres and it's not line of sight I used to add. There's, we've got metal railings in the way, we've got lots of trees and lots of earth and it's now time to cross the road. So, I'm, uh, I am actually starting, I am hearing some slight dropouts here, so, mm. uh, would it would 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 we say this is uh, this is the time to change it? Yeah, yeah, I think I can. Okay, yeah. so if we could just move move it across now to the frequency diversity, which is yeah, it does is just doing okay. That. Very quick. Okay, oh, that was very quick. Well done. So we're now, if you're looking at the uh, in the bottom uh, right hand side of the screen, if you're looking at the receivers, we're now on re receivers three and four of the DSQD, which are pre-configured for frequency diversity. So we've now, I've got two mics, I've got this one and that one. Both of them are contributing because each one is connected to a different transmitter. This gives you the best possible diversity basically because you're not only choosing the best aerial to be using but also the best of the two frequencies. Yeah, you can certainly hear the, uh, the benefits. Yeah, this is this is clearly right better, and obviously yeah. this this is very good if you're in a situation where you really don't want any dropouts. If you've got like a, a prime minister or a president or I don't know Bono or something. Actually, no Bono, we could probably do without. But you know what I mean. If you're if you're recording somebody really really important and you want if if a battery fails or if a radio mic transmitter fails, you've got complete backup. You've got two completely different mics, two completely different transmitters. And this is uh, the frequency diversity. I have to say, yeah, I can hear myself coming back really clearly. So. Um, we're going to keep walking. Uh, poor Jilly, she's uh, <laughs> waiting by the traffic lights there. But obviously we've got quite a bit further, so the, the, in this case, in frequency diversity, the digital is going significantly further um, than we were getting on either switch or even the ratio diversity. It certainly sounds very clear. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're now going past uh, the bus stop, which is a, a good sort of uh, point to note later on we'll see how far we are but I from memory I think that's probably about 450 uh, 450 meters or so but uh, yeah you're not up as high as uh, the post office yet no no we're, we're, we're kind of coming to the post office. oh I'm hearing some drops oh, now drop there, yeah. okay so uh, we're just uh, we're just coming to a road junction which uh, could be another sort of point for us oh yeah, and it's, it is starting there. to go now yeah. Well, we, we are getting quite a long way away here. Uh, this is Andrew's drive leading to... Caldecott Guard. Well done, Andy. Uh, <laughs> the, the, I have no the, idea the why a I remember that. Andy is the living A to Z of Evesham. So, yeah, I think uh, we're, 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 I'm, I'm hearing drops now. Yeah, uh, that's, that's not usable. Either. Okay, uh, well, I'll... I'll uh, oh, I can hear it going. Let me find a place where it's working and we'll, we'll kind of call it a day here, I think. But that's, that's really impressive for, for a digital system. Um, I'll just turn around a bit until I can hear myself. Yeah, that, that's really quite a long. That's really quite a long way. We'll see how far it is uh, later. But uh, I'd like, well, thanks Andy and thanks uh, Dawes and Jilly for helping out with this. And uh, thanks to you for watching. Uh, we're going to be doing lots more of these, so please subscribe. There's a button down there somewhere. Subscribe to Raycom TV to see loads more. Lovely. So th thanks for watching. Thanks, Piers. Thanks, Jilly. Cheers.